What it do, y'all? And I'm just chilling, man. Just deciding down. There's a lot of shit going on, so. Today my homie said birthday. You know what I'm saying? G Day. 10-3-1989. He was taken from us. Like June 1st, 2013. I just wanted to give a little story, you know what I'm saying? A little, a little background on that night, how it went down. So... I don't even know where to start, honestly, like, I can go as far as, okay, the nigga that did it, we'll start there, when he first started coming around, the nigga that did it, he started coming around, whatever, we ain't said crib, there's about 20-something people in the house, chilling, you know what I'm saying, just politicking, doing what we do, but he hit the door, boom, 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 they answered the door, and he just came in there in front of everybody on some shit like, what's up, his head? Trying to hit his lick. Want to hit his lick real quick. And it's like 20 people in the house, you know what I'm saying? We all looking around at each other like, bro, we, we in here politicking about some, about some good growth. This man come in here and just uh, kill the whole vibe. Tell him I want to hit his lick. And said like, man, come on, man. No, bro, like, what you want? But... All right, so after that, whatever, he brushed that off. He ain't want to hit that lick. So next thing I know, I went to said house again later that week and caught him on some one-on-one -on -one shit. He was on some um, shit, like, I asked him, I'm like, damn. I was like, hey, buddy, good? And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's just, you know what I'm saying, whoop the whoop. You know what I'm saying, he cool, he do this, he do that, boom, boom. I'm like... All right, cool. It is what it is. So, I just keep seeing Buddy. And something ain't sitting right with Buddy, you feel me? So, I went to see it again. You know what I'm saying? He was in the kitchen. He was rolling up. You know what I'm saying? Just caught him one-on-one. -on -one. Like, bro, you sure he good? Like, you sure he good? You feel me? So, it was like, yeah, man. I ain't worried about it. Um, Buddy, he... You know what I'm saying? He just do that. He talk shit, whatever. Whoop, whoop. But it's just something about it. Like, when he left one day, he was just like, fuck you, said, Fuck you, said. Like, he just kept saying that shit. Like, fuck you, said. And the energy that he kicking out, I'm just looking at Buddy like, damn, he really on it. And I said, and everybody, they laughing about it. They, they joking, like, because they know he a jokey-ass nigga. But at the same time, I seen different. I seen different in this boy. But... Alright, so coming towards the end, it's like, I'm asking said at this point, like, bro, you want to hold a strap, like, hold one of the straps, something, like, hold you down, you know what I'm saying, because I'm just not trusting that vibe that's going around, but said, he, he just gonna be said, you feel me, he ain't worried about none of that, he, I ain't worried about nothing, like, nah, I I'm good, I don't need it, so I'm like, damn, cool. In the back of my head, though, the whole time I'm sitting here saying, like, I just need to leave it with him, you feel me? Like, he say he good, but I know he, you know what I'm saying? He'll be better without, with it than without it, you feel me? So, I'm just looking like, damn, it is what it is, okay? Long story short, I ain't trying to talk too much, but the night it happened, I went to a concert with a couple of my dogs, and... I don't know if it was the Migos, I don't know who was in the building, but it was somebody in the building that night. And we like four deep, so we going through the line and they doing all kind of extra security work and boom, boom. It, it's feeling good, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm chilling, like I'm with my dogs, we chilling, we about to head up in there, see what's going on. But I get a call and that was my baby mama. So I'm looking at the phone for like a couple seconds, like, damn, what the hell she want? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? But I answered the phone, hello, boom. First thing she said, nothing else. Said got shot. I'm looking like, hold up, what? Said got shot. I ain't say that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking that in my head, like, Cause at this point, one of my dogs, he looking at me and 
he see my reaction. He see my reaction. I'm just like, huh? You feel me? So he he already go mode. He like, what's up? Where we at? Type shit. You feel me? Like, where we need to go? Where we need to be at right now? And and I just bust out. Man, say I got shot. We got to go. And we downtown Columbia. So, man, no lie, bro. We pushed it. I had a crown vic, man. We pushed that motherfucking crown vic. About nine minutes we've been on Piney Grove. That's, that's a good little stretch. But we got there in nine minutes. No lie. Pushing it. But so we get down there to the Grove or whatever, and I'm just looking around. Like, as soon as we hit the Grove, you can see the blue lights everywhere down there. So I'm just looking like, damn, and they look good. But it's coming from another side. So I'm like, damn, okay. That ain't where Sid stays. I know Sid stay on this side, so I'm looking straight. It's coming from a little neighborhood right there, but it's, you know what I'm saying, they in conjunction because he used to stay out there, but I'm looking at the blue lights everywhere, and I'm like, hell nah. So we bust that right, went to Sid's crib, his actual crib where he stayed at, and met up with his little brother. And all I remember was... Like, it been years ago, 2013. It's 21, I mean, 22 right now. About to be 23. It's crazy, but I'm just, I just, like, went in go mode. I'm just walking around. I'm going through the neighborhood. I went to the other side where he used to stay at, where all the yellow tape and everything was at. They yellow taped the whole section. So all I remember was me jumping the gate. Like, I'm, it wasn't even in my mind that I was going to get shot or anything because I'm just jumping. They, they little yellow tape, jump the gate. They like, whoa, 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 you can't. And I'm just looking around. I'm like, yo, what's going on? I'm just looking, trying to figure out what's going on. Where, where my boy that got shot at? What happened? What's going on? Because I'm looking over. I see five police at the car right here with flashlights looking at paperwork and shit. I look over. It's another group of police just sitting there chilling. Everybody just chilling. So I'm like the only one that's on some shit like, bro, if he just got shot. I just got the call. He got shot. That nigga got to be somewhere around here. You feel me? Like, where he at? Y'all ain't looking. Y'all ain't doing nothing. I feel like y'all not doing y'all job. I'm trying to do y'all job for you. You feel me? So, um, all right. So, long story short, they was just like, go check in at the um, at the hospital, this, that, and the third. So, I went back around the corner, went to said house, and that's when the police officer came up. And... He was like, y'all stay here? And we like, nah. And then we looking at Pot. That's a little brother. We like, that's a little brother right there. You know what I'm saying? He stay here. And once that was said, I look at, at the officer expression. You always got to check their expression on everything. So I'm just looking at his expression. He gave like a little sigh, like a little, like he took a little deep breath. Like, did you talk to your parents? And I'm thinking in my head, my head racing right now. I'm just like, bro, that don't even sound right, bro. What you mean? Like, hell nah, hell nah. Don't don't do that. So we ended up going downtown to where he was at, to the uh, hospital. And like, we just piled up in the car. I'm still trying to remember it as as I go. You feel me? Like it been so long ago, and that's a memory that nobody really want to hold on to. But we get all the way down there to the hospital or whatever. And we go through the doors, and we trying to figure out where said at, where said at, like where he at. So we got one of the little nurses or whoever to lead us to the back area, or whatever, where it's going down, like surgery and all that, I guess, or where they just keep the, the family. So we going down this hallway, and it feel like an eternity, man. We just walking, just speed walking, like damn, damn, they want to run. You feel me? Like, come on, what's, what's going on? So we went past. And we saw this lady sitting down at the desk, like security or whatever. So when I seen her, like I said, I always check expressions. I looked at her expression. She just looked up and she gave a little sigh too, like, oh. Like, like she giving me them type of vibes, like, damn, I want to tell them, like, it ain't looking too good or uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's the way she looked. That's the vibe I picked up off of her. But I just put my head down, like, I'm not going to think about that. I'm not going to think like that. My dog good. My dog made it through. You feel me? Like, so we kept going, kept going, kept going. I mean, it felt like we was going, like I said, for an eternity, but it probably was just like three different blocks away, but it just felt like an eternity getting there. And 
as soon as the door opened, that's all I can remember. His mama was in there. As soon as the door opened, she just, I don't even know, she peeked to see who was coming through, honestly. It, it happened so fast. I think Pop probably walked in there as soon as, but as soon as that happened, all I heard was her say, say it dead. And that crushed the nigga, like, it made me feel like we was playing this little game, like, Come on, we got to figure out what said that, what said doing, you know what I'm saying? He all right, he going to be all right, you know what I'm saying? And then it just felt like game over once them words came out. So it's like I just dropped my head immediately. I punched the wall and, and just everybody just started crying, man. Like everybody just really just, it hit everybody at one time. Like we, we thinking everything going to be good, everything straight. My dog, a fucking beast out here, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm thinking about. Like, man, he ain't, he ain't going out like no sucker because he ain't had no beef with nobody anyway. So that shit was, that shit was just heartbreaking, man. You know, something that'll never, it'll never get better. It'll never change. It changes a lot of us mentally. It changes a lot of us emotionally. You know what I'm saying? It just changed a lot of us. When you lose someone this young, like, you got to think. That was, like, one of the first young niggas we lost. Well, for me, that is, you know what I'm saying? That I look around in the house, you know, like, when people die, whatever, you go to your people's house and everybody, and they old, and, you know what I'm saying? Everybody like, oh, yeah, this your, nothing, this your son, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, woo do woo yada, yada, yada. But everybody in the house young. Everybody in the house my age and younger. And I'm just looking around the room, like, because we went back to his house and everybody came through. But I'm just looking around the room, like, damn. We young as hell, bro. Like, <laughs> that shit was real, bro. That shit was real. But today his G Day said, may you rest in peace. Nothing but love. You know what I'm saying? That shit is still tough. For real. And may God be with the nigga that did it. That's all I got to say about it. I'm out.